Zelda, Palace of Twilight by Ferenik? I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, but yeah, it looks like it's gonna be another Zelda level. Also, this level was requested by PJFan94. I hope I don't get lost in this level, because that tends to happen a lot when I play these Zelda-esque levels. Huh. Oh, okay, so... Even though it's in the wall, I can still hit it. Oh, okay, I see what they want. This is pretty clever, I didn't even know you could do this. Um... I guess we're gonna get that. What did that do? Oh well. <laughs> I don't think there was anything in that other room that could have damaged you. I mean, I suppose maybe if you jumped over the pal block and got hit by the shell, but uh, why would you do that? Okay, yes. Oh, okay. So that makes it go up. Why would I want to do... Oh, okay, so I can bounce up. I gotcha. We're figuring things out, slowly but surely. Well, you're loud. Oh, well, that was dumb. <laughs> Over here, please. Hello. Alright. Uh, I guess we're just gonna drop the muncher on the P-switch. I don't know if that chomper will hurt you. I'm guessing not, but I'm not gonna chance it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm liking these puzzles so far. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna need a key somewhere. Well, that was the right thing to do, apparently. Whoa, hello. Oh, it made a power block appear, okay. Oh, um, mini boss? <laughs> Oh, oh, okay, it's a timed puzzle. And what made the key appear, I wonder? That's... that's pretty neat. I'm impressed. Um, uh, huh. Don't think I can reach that with a jump. Unless I'm not jumping high enough? Ugh, just out of my range, come on. Mm. Oh, there's a thing right here. Oh, well, there it goes. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Once again, really clever use of the items here. Very clever, very clever. Oh, oh, okay. Just, we just gotta take out the ice blocks? Okay, now... Now, more vines! I'm happy that there's not very much, uh, getting lost involved here. Okay, I'm guessing this is a puzzle that could be, uh, failed if we, uh, do something wrong here. Uh, let's see. I'm guessing we need to lower this one. And again. And we get the key. Good. And then I guess we just go through that door in order to reset it. Triforce! And checkpoint. Yeah, I've been really impressed with what I see so far. I think we all know what this one's going to get as far as a rating. Okay, let's see. What do you want here? I guess... And then... Okay. Then it will go up and, uh, explode. 
Oh, it had the key. Okay. And here's the door. Fake. What? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't see that there. Little uh, fake out uh, door there. Okay, um. Guessing we want to go down. Why am I not going down? Oh, it's part of the floor, okay. Um. Through the door, I guess. Well, we have some flying wings. Well, it's just an empty room, not sure what to do there. I don't think I can make that jump. No. Hmm. I have to think about this one for a minute. Oh, okay, it's a floating invisible block. Okay. I was wondering what the deal was with that. So, can I go through the door and it'll still be there? Well, it's still a block. And now we can jump on top of it to get to this. Alright. That one was a little tricky. How block time. This one's not too hard to figure out. Thank you! Uh, do we have a boss? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, jeez, that's a lot of fire to try and avoid. And we're going to be doing that again, it looks like. At least it's right before the, uh, second checkpoint. Right, let's try it again. Cause, yeah, this could be kind of tricky. Ugh! The platforms really make it hard to... Uh, determine if you need to jump or not. Ugh! Oh yeah, this this one's gonna be a little tough. And the good thing is that it's not an unfair kind of tough either. I'm kind of trying to use jumps to try and lead their shots away from the platforms. Not, not really working out. Alright, let's try it again. Oh, Is there somewhere I should be trying to get to? Or do I just need to dodge fireballs for a specific amount of time? I'm guessing I just need to, like, dodge fireballs for a little bit. Oh! All right, let's try this again, and... Ugh! Oh, so hard to avoid all these fireballs! The platforms just keep... Just throw off any sense of, uh, where you are, and it's very hard to avoid those. trying to work out a good strategy for this. Might have something here. At least here I only have to focus on one of the Bowser Juniors. There we go. Okay, so yeah, we did just have to wait him out. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to hang around there any longer than I need to. And we get the, uh, three extra lives, slash Triforce, I guess. And that's the end of the level. Uh, no way to hit the top of the flagpole, it doesn't look like. Wonder what they were going for with the brick design here. It's nice. But, yeah, that was a really well-made level. I like all the puzzles that they, uh, had designed there. 
And it's not terribly long either. You could definitely beat this thing within the uh, 500 seconds that it gives you. So, um, easy star rating I'm giving this one. Um, that boss fight at the end, really difficult to try and figure out how to get through that one. Um, I felt like I had a pretty good strategy there. As you can see, I no damaged it, so that's something. Uh, but yeah, really, really good level. Thanks for sharing. Meteorite in the Mushroom Kingdom by Ruda. And requested by Lucas. Uh, well, these blocks all are destructive. Oh! Yeah! Okay. Gonna need to watch out for those, apparently. Okay, it's bob bombs followed by lava bubbles. That one just go through the floor? Oh, and I see, yeah, there are vines sticking out, so it is possible to get through here even if they do take out certain sections of the floor. Oh, I see, they must be, like, stacked on top of each- Oh, hello, Monty Mole! Look at that big old smile on his face. Yeah, I got him! Oh! Okay, we'll just wait for you to come out this time. Getting out of here! Alright. Into the next room. Uh, I guess we're gonna need this later. Alright, back to the, uh, destruction. Ugh! Wasn't quite ready for you. Ugh, this could be risky. This is dicey. Don't like going this slow. But at least no meteorites are falling. Well, I don't see why the checkpoints had to be in the, uh, second room. But, oh well. Oh! Okay, yeah. Uh, this, this is Ah! Oh. I thought I could get out of there. But, yeah, this level is reminding me a lot of that, um, one level. I think, uh, it was one of the later worlds in World 8 in New Super Mario Brothers, where you were basically running away from a bunch of, uh, slow-falling meteorites. It feels very similar in concept to that. Also, we can see the little breakaway floor there up ahead, so we must be getting close to the end. I don't think we actually went down here. Oh, and a free one up. Bonus rooms are pretty nice for how condensed they are, and oh, hey, there's the locked door. Oh, okay, so that's what we would need the key for, so um, let me go back and get that, and we'll find out what's going on down there. Was it in here, or was it in the next room? Next room. comes the tricky bit. We need to be able to, uh, yeah, dodge these things long enough for them to open a way to that door. Might need to go ahead and do that first and then go back for the key. Right, just need to lead them here and not stand where they're gonna fall. Well, that opens a way, at least. Now to try and get back and get the key. Okay, we'll just, uh, get ourselves big before we head on over. Here's a one-up that we don't need. Alright, now let's see what's going on in the door. Quick, get in there! I noticed that that door was also on a destructible floor. Okay, it just leads to a small room of coins and a couple of one-ups, so, um... Wasn't really worth the trip, but hey, at least we can say we went there. And then the Starman got away. 
But, um, yeah, that was a pretty interesting level. I like how it looked, and I liked how it played. I just... The meteorites themselves, which is actually the bomb stacked on top of a lava bubble, yeah, th those can be a little difficult to get around. Yeah, I'll give this a, a rating, but, um... It can be really hard to avoid those things, and they come down with so little warning. It's still a good challenge, though. Um, I'm going to give this level a flower rating. Uh, not that I think the level is unfair or anything. It's just that those meteorites fall so fast that there's very little chance that you're going to avoid them. You're either going to take the hit or something. But, uh, yeah. Overall, I do think this is a really good level. So, good job on it. Thank you for sharing. I have no idea what this level is, or who made it, so, um, we'll just fly with it. But if it's a level from Japan, you can bet it's gonna be pretty crazy. Okay, I guess we can go forward here. What in the... Uh, seizure warning? What the... Uh... What just happened? <laughs> uh, I don't know what happened, but it sure looked nice. Okay, into the door. And I guess we're back at start. What's making them spin out like that? And also, how come I can pass through them while they're doing that? Oh, okay, I see. I gotta get to the P-door in that time. Alright, alright. Now that we know what we need to do, let's actually do it. Makes it a little difficult to see where you're going, but it is doable. And, of course, they're not gonna let me keep my big. Uh. Well, okay. Here we go! Oh! Gonna have to be patient, I guess. Were we quick enough? Yes. Okay, that one was a little easier. Okay, this time they want me to be big. Oh! Auto-scroll. Okay. Oh, hello! Uh, uh... Oh, funny how that was in the way. <laughs> I guess these things are just designed to be in the way. <laughs> are they not coming back? Okay, yeah, you just had to survive long enough to, uh... Get past Bowser so that you can get in the door. They certainly do some interesting things with this. So, yeah, that's the whole purpose of the effect, is to be an obstruction. Which, okay, fair enough. <laughs> nice way to end it. Uh, so, yeah, that was certainly an interesting level. I didn't even know you could do that with the Bill Blasters. Um... Yeah, what more can I say about that? Um, it's basically a level where they have these spinning bill blasters that are designed to obstruct your view. Interesting idea. And I I wouldn't put it past someone from Japan to discover something like that. They are really good at uh, tinkering with mechanics like that. So, yeah, good job making this level. I will give this one... Sure, we'll give it a star rating. It It's that creative. I like it. Let's play some Koopa Football by Zay. I wonder if we're going to have Koopa Football players. Well, we're not if we're going to be playing in the Mario 3 uh, engine. Well, actually, even if we were playing Mario World, it wouldn't be uh, that. Okay. Red team versus green. I'm biased because I'm red. Ooh! Okay, we'll take out red next. Okay, I've assassinated both teams. Do I win? I guess so. That's the whole level. 
Uh, well, I would be lying if I didn't say I was disappointed a little bit there. I mean, we basically just went down, we had two teams of Koopas, we kicked a shell into each of them, and that was pretty much it. I mean, I was kind of expecting a little more with the idea, like maybe we would uh, actually have a chance to play some proper football, where we have to kick a shell into a net or something, but uh, no, none of that. For, I mean, for what it is, it's worth a Goomba rating, I think. It, there's just not enough here, I don't think, to really warrant anything higher, but still, it was kind of amusing for w the time that it was up. Super Mario Bros. Remake by Nightmare Hashtag. Um, uh, well, it looks like he's trying to recreate 1-1 one, one for Mario Brothers, but, um, I don't seem to recall this being a, uh, coin bank here. And the blocks themselves are kind of low to the ground, but... And also, where's my mushroom? Oh, there it is. Mario became Mario! And we have Goombas crying in agony. Oh, three coins. Well, then again, this is a remade version of it, I guess, so why not have uh, a few changes here and there? Do we still have the secret one-up? Yep, there it is. And does this go down? So far, it's a level that looks similar to the original, but not quite. Oh, we come up the same place. Fair enough. Everything's a bit lower to the ground. Well, this is kind of high up. I also noticed there was a distinct lack of blocks and enemies there. Whoops. That one was on me. Well, here we are at the end of the level. Or so we thought. More level? What? Okay, now we're gonna do one, two as well. So, yeah, it's not exactly the same level, but, uh... There are signs of similarities. Is there gonna be a Starman here? Nope. I'm not actually expecting any of these to be have anything in them, so I don't know why I'm taking the time to break them all. And we're not going to get a one-up from here, either. Hmm. Okay, now it's not really looking so familiar anymore. jump up there, and maybe take an upper path? Okay, now it doesn't really look like 1-2 at all. <laughs> oh! I just got troll blocked! Uh, and there were no checkpoints! Ah! Okay, now that we know we have an invisible block here... Go ahead and get that out of the way. Alright. So now that we have that sorted out... That was kind of a mean place to put that. Yeah, it looks like it keeps going, so we're not going in that way. Welcome to Drama Zone! Yeah, nothing else to see here, I guess, so... 
Pick a pipe, any pipe. And we just took a step down, apparently. <laughs> but at least we can go down from here. Yeah, they're, they're probably just bricks. And, um, yeah, that's it for the level. So it was 1-1 one, one, one and 1-2, one, but not really. And that was about it. It it wasn't a terrible level. It's certainly not the worst I've seen, but... Eh, I kind of feel like if you're going to do a remake of these levels, kind of want to do more with them than what you had. You had some elements that were there, some that were omitted entirely. Um, but overall... Yeah, not a terrible level, but I personally would have liked to see more with it, so I can't really give this more than a Goomba rating. I, I commend the effort, though. I would try playing around with some of the mo some more assets and maybe make this make these two levels more interesting to play through. Still, good effort. Cabin in the Woods by Simon. Sounds spooky. Looks spooky. Oh boy, we got a boo with wings, and it's going to go very fast, so, uh... Oh, I'll take that. Kind of like what they got going on with the trees here. Let's climb into one. Never mind, let's take a plunge into one. That works just as well, right? Ooh, okay. Uh, let's go in here. I guess we're inside a cabin now? Hmm. Doesn't want to seem to power us up beyond Super Mario, but uh, we'll roll with it. Ooh, that looks a little dangerous. I'm guessing I don't want to go down there. But I do want to go down here. Oh. Well, they would have more or less been shortcuts, but probably not at the expense of, uh, getting hit by one of those spike tops. Okay, not too bad. Ooh, this could be dangerous. Um, never mind, we're already at the end. Okay, so, um, yeah, kind of an ominous level. The feel of it certainly is. Um, and there's a decent, uh, little bit of a challenge to it. It's, uh, I don't feel like the theme is all that clear, but I think what's there at least deserves a low-ranking mushroom rating. I would do more to make your theme stand out a little more. Cabin in the woods. I, I definitely like the way you designed your trees. That was really cool. Uh, but yeah, I would just try playing around with your uh, theme a little more. Maybe have some more of the uh, ghost house enemies in there, in places. But other than that, yeah, pretty good level, I think. And I think we're going to go ahead and call it there. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any level requests that you'd like to share, leave me the... Uh, code in the comment section below, and I shall see you next time!